Hi, Tracy here with the Idea Closet and Paper Closet Designs, and I just put a quick little video together to show you how easy it is to use digital stamps with your Cricut. For this project, we're going to do the Nugget Slider bags, and I've got this little tag. It's the heart fold over tag that we're going to use, and it's pretty simple. So let's get started. First off, we're going to open up our Cricut. I've got it all ready to go. Um, and then we need to upload our images because these are images purchased through Paper Closet Design and not through Cricut. So right here we have the heart tag and it has the score lines. This comes with the nugget slider file and then we need to upload our digital stamps we want to use. So I'm going to come down here and grab my file and I want to use the XOXO colored stamps. This is from the Valentine stamps that can also be purchased at, at Paper Closet Designs. We're going to keep this simple. It, it's a PNG so there's no background so we can just keep it really simple. Click on it and continue. And there it is. We're going to do continue again. We don't need to do any of the advanced options. One of the things that I really like about Cricut Design Space is when you bring in a PNG, you have two options. You can use it as a print and cut or as a cut image. So for this one, we want the print and cut, and it's highlighted with the green. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. You can also change your um, name over here or you can add tags to it if you want to. I've done that in other videos so I'm not going to do it today. We'll hit save and it's going to take it just a minute and there we have our um, our digital stamp so I'm going to click on it and then we have the tag. I'm going to click on it to select both of them. Come down here to insert image and they should both show up. It does take a minute when I'm running a video and recording my screen. Sometimes it um, logs down a little bit, but that's okay. So here is our tag, and we're going to keep that the right size that it is. Because PNGs have a really high DPI, so that you have a high print quality, they, can't, they do come in fairly big. So we're just going to... Um, change the size of that a little bit and we'll play around with it a little bit more. So I'm going to select my tags and I'm going to ungroup them. This has the tag and the label and the fold over tag. So the three different options that come with that file. And we don't need all of those. So we're going to take this piece and we're going to delete it. All right. This piece right here, red, is what I've cut out of um, my printed paper. And I also did the same thing with the background on my heart. So let's separate this and group it. I'm going to drag this over here because this is what the image that we're going to use to stamp on. And this is our background, and we're going to cut that out of some printed paper. The next thing we need to do, whoops, we're going to ungroup this one as well. And then I'm going to move the printed paper off, or the image that I'll cut with printed paper. And then we have our tag that folds and the heart pops out. So these lines I need to change to score lines. You can leave them as cut lines if you'd like, but I love doing the score lines. And actually, um, these are the only ones that we're going to do the score line. So this piece, we want it to cut out so that when you fold it, it pops up. All right. We are going to select both of these or all three of these pieces by just clicking and dragging around them. And then we want to attach them together so that it all cuts and scores on the same mat. So we would put it together. Here is our, send this to the back. Here's our printed paper. 
that we can cut and put right there. And then this is another printed paper, or you can do it with the solid red, either one. Doesn't matter, however you want it. And then we're going to turn this tag into a digital, or we're going to place our digital stamp on this tag. So I'm going to just click on it and drag it over here. We need to bring it to the front. And as you can see, it's way too big for that heart. So I'm going to just resize it by clicking and dragging. You could um, change the size to a specific size if you wanted to. This is one of the reasons I love digital stamps. If you have a wood mounted stamp, it is the size that it comes. You can't change it in any way. But with digital stamps, you can make them smaller or bigger, whatever you want. We're going to... Just kind of center that right in there. I need to make it just a hair smaller. Drag it down in there. Just play around with it. Arrange it however you like, whatever you think works best. Now, if I were to send this to cut right now, it would cut this image out, the heart tag out, but not the XOXO. So we're going to select both those. So I have my digital stamp and my tag both selected, and we're going to hit flatten. And what will happen is it's going to flatten that and make it one printable shape, and it will cut the outline. So right here, it doesn't look like you can see the heart, and that's because it's white. But if you look over here on your layers panel, you can see that it is a printed image, and it's, and it's the heart shape. You can also drag it over lay it on your tag or your yeah your fold over tag and that's what it's going to look like when you get done so then we're going to go to make it i am not hooked up to my cricut so this will go as far as we can we won't be able to finish it now it's all ready to go there is your print and cut image it says right here you're going to print it and then cut it so you'll send it to your printer it will print the heart out with your box around it and then when you take it and cut it, it will cut that heart shape out. You also on the next mat have your fold over tag or bag topper and it's going to score it and then it's going to cut it out. And then you have two mats that have the printed paper or you can just cut them out of a solid color, whatever you want. That's all that it you need to do to make this fun little fold over tag for your slider boxes. Thanks for joining me. I hope you'll give this a try. The files can be purchased once again at my Etsy shop, Paper Closet Design. Thanks. We'll see you later.